Hey, what's up, Scott Balkum here, and I'm with Kessler Crane today, and we're talking about how to connect your Kessler Cine Shooter and Second Shooter Pro into the world of ScarHoy. ScarHoy allows you to control many different brands of gear in a centralized control area, all using an Ethernet network. It's very easy, it's very fast, and to get started, all you really need is a control surface and their new blue pill, and you can hook right up to your Cine Shooter. There's a couple of different ways to power the ScarHoy equipment. If you have power over ethernet injection on your network, then you can simply plug in an ethernet into each of these and it will power them. If you don't, run a power supply. Uh, this one uses USB. Then all you need to do is take a USB cable, plug it into your blue pill, and run it over to your Cine shooter. And once this boots up, you'll see an IP address at the bottom. Go to a web browser, preferably Chrome, and type in that IP address at the top and hit enter. You will need to log in. The login is admin and the password is Scarhoy, no capitals. And once you log in, you should see your blue pill and your control device. And if you don't see your control device, we recommend you head to Scarhoy's website. Kessler does not provide support for Scarhoy. So now we're ready to configure it. Let's go over to settings. We need to come down here and we need to choose turn on USB-A, click okay. And then we need to go over to packages and we need to search down here for Kessler. You'll see the, right here, we need to install that. Click install. Once it's installed, you should see it unknown, it's stopped, and we need it to be running. So if you click on it, we can click start. And now it's running. Now we can come over here to home, and down here on your control device, you should see the option right here to add. So we're gonna add right here and we're going to add manually. Let's type in Kessler, and we should see Cine Shooter and Second Shooter. We wanna choose the Cine Shooter, click Select. That's going to add it right here. Now we'll need to go into Cine Shooter. I don't know why you need to put in an IP address, but you can put in an IP address of your choosing. You will not be using the IP address. And then the port is 5520. And then down here to connection type, we're going to choose USB. We're gonna click save and it should connect right here. And once you're connected, you now have control over your city shooter. <laughs> now there are various functions and adjustments and capabilities you can program within the ScarHoy systems to control Cine Shooter and Second Shooter Pro the way you want. If you have any questions about how to set that up, ScarHoy's website and support are a great resource. Kessler, once again, expanding the adaptability and flexibility of Cine Shooter and Second Shooter Pro. It's easier than ever to add the performance, dependability, and flexibility of Kessler Motion Control to many of your existing systems. And if you have any questions about Cine Shooter or any other Kessler gear, head over to KesslerCrane.com. Feel free to send them a link to your BTS and finished projects. They love seeing what you can do with your Kessler Motion Control. <music>